Hello people, I'm Carson. Today I am going to be unboxing a few things that I bought from this brand called Cozy Earth. You got to smile for a second. Oh, smile. It doesn't take much time. See? Weird story. So I often telework once a week, usually Fridays, and I was watching The View. And at the end of the show, they had this thing called View Your Deal. And it was this brand called Cozy Earth. But what caught my attention was that everything was 50% off. And I was like, woo, 50% off. I can't pass up a sale, it's a problem. And what was interesting was that they make so much of their stuff out of bamboo. It was so cool. Um, I was like, bamboo, I don't under, you make canes out of bamboo and toothbrushes and like hard things how do you make sheets and pajamas and comforters and stuff out of bamboo although the comforters I think are silk actually now that I think about it when I went onto their website so I decided to buy three different products and see what I thought of them and I can return them if I don't like them which is the magical part of the internet um, something else that's interesting about this process I am blind so I won't know if this stuff looks good let me know in the comments if you think something looks good or bad or if I should never wear it again. My sister is pretty brutal when she says something like that, which is excellent because that's what I want. So tell me what you think. So the first product was called their Stretch Knit Bamboo T-shirt. So it comes packaged like this against a kind of a cardboard thing to keep it all stiff. Okay, so it is very soft. I will say it is very, very soft. The fabric is cool to the touch. Um, yes, it is very soft. Quite stretchy. Oh my, quite stretchy. And it looks like this. Now this is supposed to be loungewear, so you wear it around the house, you sleep in it, whatever. Also, disclaimer, I am not sponsored or partnering with Cozy Earth, so I've never used this brand before. This is purely just a reactionary video and nothing more. Okay. Oh, nice little emblem of something in the corner. Feels like a nice little emblem of something in the corner. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Goodness. The seams. Nice. I think they're, I think they're nice. Um, I will say the fabric is quite thin. So I think that's part of the goal though, because the advertisements for it on the website talked about how it was supposed to be cooling and keep your body temperature down. So I'm going to go put this on and you guys can tell me what you think. I don't know if I'm feeling it. I don't know. I don't know. It's very baggy. I'm not a baggy clothes person. I think this drives my mom nuts because I hate <laughs> loose fitting things. Like I can never wear Ariana Grande stuff because I just can't wear loose. It bothers me. I don't like loose trailing things. What do you guys think of this? I don't know, I'll stand up. So it kind of, it sits nicely at the shoulders. Um, even so, I think the seam is a little long. Maybe I just need a smaller size. I don't know, I think I got a small though. So, not sure how this worked. It has a nice little pocket in here for, what am I supposed to put in here? A dental floss or a dog treat probably for my dog. <laughs> okay, here's the sideways view. I just think it's kind of boxy. Makes me look like I have no shape. But I have a problem with this because I can't see, so I'm not good with loose fitting stuff. I, I just don't know. So I'm gonna go, well, I'll sit here and take the next one out, and then I'll switch everything. So the next product that I bought was their bamboo joggers, which I love joggers. I'm actually wearing joggers right now that my mom got me. Um, 
so these I believe are cotton um, so this will be a really fun comparison I just got this stuff in the mail today and I didn't actually plan this outfit or this video so <laughs> this is kind of cool um, okay let's again supported by this cardboard protected well by the plastic that's good I like when things are well packaged okay first reaction again very soft I love that nice deep pockets very long strings I don't know what kind of bow I'm supposed to tie with this or if I'm supposed to try and do acrobats with acrobatics with that but okay um, I got these as a medium because well you see I have a little extra so mediums in pants um, nice little taper at the ankle. I do like this is very thick here at the ankle and this is very thick here at the waistline. The strings are very thick and they have the little plastics at the end so I don't think that they'll fray. Um, yeah, thick hems. Okay, we're gonna go change into these and see what I think. Again, I think this is so funny because I'm taking off the joggers that I'm currently wearing. What? I'm okay. Fine. It's okay. All right. Coming around. I love these. I think that they're awesome. So first thing that you'll learn about me is I love high-waisted stuff. I like feeling secure in the things that I'm wearing and I don't want to feel like I'm going to flop out of the top of pants it just I get very nervous about wearing like low-ride jeans and stuff low-rise jeans low-rise low-ride low-ride I I don't know what they're called see I don't even know what they're called because I don't wear them I think they're low-rise because the high-waisted ones are high-rise okay glad we worked through that together so um there these are high-waisted jeans you can see that they're up here which is good. They go right up to about the level of your belly button, which I love. And they have enough, they have given them that they're very comfortable. They are thinner than the cotton ones that my mom got me, which are your typical joggers that you'd find in like a sporting goods store, I believe. Um, but they're not that thin, honestly. They're, they're really not. They have two pockets in them and they have, ooh, they have one in the back. I don't know what I put in there. I guess a credit card or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so I guess let me tie these. Yeah, look at these strings. Like how ridiculous. And then I can't even tie them because this mammoth shirt is in the way. Holy hell. Okay, do this. Plop. Done. Done. I guess you could conclude that I'm in a very cozy outfit. I just, so the pants I'm for sure keeping. I think the shirt I'm going to, sorry, there's dog hair on my mouth because German shepherds. Um, I think I'm gonna return the shirt. I think it's just a bit too boxy. I don't know if a smaller size is what I want necessarily. I might just wear something else. Okay, next thing, and I'm most excited for this, out of everything because I have heard of bamboo sheets before and never been able to buy them even with the discount the 50% off it was like I think this set was like 150 or 100 and, 100 and something but I decided to splurge and try it so I got the queen size sheet set I think it's so cute that it comes in this little bag with handles these are legit handles <laughs> it's kind of cool um so we will open it Okay, so here's the set. Anything else in here? Ooh. Okay, so first, I love the fact that inside this bag is a protective lining against water. Um, I love that because I think it's important to protect your stuff and I can definitely keep this for transporting things if 
I move, which we are moving really soon, so that's awesome. Okay, let's open this up and see. I don't know how this is going to feel. Okay, so let's see. I want to pull out, okay, here, cool. Here is, here are the pillowcases. Okay. All right, so very silky, very cool to the touch. Same as the sleepwear. I like the seams, the stitching along the side. Feels really nice. I like that they're long enough pillowcases that they can cover your pillow and you don't have to worry about losing your case. I think they're a bit thin, but I don't know if that's just the nature of the sheet or if it has something to do with their quality. So I'll have to let you know what I think of them when I use them for a few washes. I'll tell you how they come out in the end. So these are the pillowcases. Okay. I didn't fold that one. Oh well, it's going in the wash. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to be so meticulous about this. Okay. This is the top sheet. The flat sheet, I believe they call it. Yeah, very nice. Same, same concept as the pillowcase. Again, really thin. I'm just not sure how I feel about that. I don't like particularly thin sheets. That scares me a little bit and raises a red flag because it makes me think that there are going to be issues with quality or that they might tear in the wash, etc. Um, like, I don't know if they're too thin or not. Let's see. Can you see me through this? I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. So that's going in the wash too. Boom. Okay. So let's see the fitted sheet. I'm interested to see. It advertised that the fitted sheet could go pretty deep onto the mattress, which is good because I have a mattress protector and I want to make sure that I'm not having to adjust my bedding every three days. Okay fitted sheet. Here's the corner. So here is the corner of the seam all the way down to the actual elastic. It's about this distance. This is the depth of the mattress that it could cover. Not terrible. Not terrible. This is definitely a little bit wrinkled. So I'm going to check when I wash it to see if the wrinkles come out. But thin, also thin, but very cool and soft to the touch. I will say that they are very silky, very soft, very light, very um, kind of a satiny feeling to them, but I'm just not sure how I feel about the thin quality. So we'll see. I'll let you guys know. But in the meantime, I think I will wash these and then return the shirt unless you tell me that I look good as a box, in which case I will keep the boxy shirt. Or maybe not. I don't know. I haven't decided. I have pretty strong reactions to things and this one is kind of visceral. I don't think I like it. But let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments if there are other brands that you're interested in that you'd like me to review. And also let me know in the comments if you have ever used Cozy Earth before and what you think of the quality of the products. I'm very interested to see, um, especially if you've used the bedding for a long time, if the thin fabric is actually a red flag like I think or if it's not a problem and I don't need to be worried. Thanks so much for watching guys. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember that at least some point today, please take some time to take a deep breath Get rid of all the mess in your mind and smile for a second.
see you in the next video.